Hey guys, I'll be showing you the best early game rune farms that I've found after about 12 hours of play. Some of them I found in game and used them to get a couple skill points, and the two really good ones I found after a bit of research. They're pretty hard, but they're well worth it. I'll cover these in order of most efficient and most difficult to the easiest and significantly slower ones. Thanks for watching, and I hope you find this helpful. We're starting off at the Third Church of America, across the river to the northeast of the gate front, where you meet Melanie. From the side of Grace in the church, head just outside to the creek in the north, and there will be a warp gate which takes you to the most lucrative rune farm. Once you arrive, head inside the giant door beside you and grab the Side of Grace for a respawn point in case you die here. The enemies are pretty dangerous to low level players and need to be taken out strategically. After you grab the Side of Grace, head back outside and walk off the side of the porch, avoiding the boss on the stairs. Your targets are the little hooded guys walking around in the field. Most of them are alone, and the easiest way to kill them is to sneak up behind them, hold heavy attack to stagger them, and then move to the side a little bit and throw light attack to perform high damage for them. After that, they should be pretty low on health, and you should be able to knock them out with a few swings. However, if you're unable to kill them before they can start attacking you, do your best to avoid them. They can do a ton of damage to the little little players. It might be worth noting that my character in this video has 32 strength, around 20 dex, and 20 vigor, and they can still kick my butt if I try to square up. The next rune farm is much closer to spawn, and the enemies still give a thousand runes, but depending on your character's level and your effectiveness fighting trolls, it might be a little slower. For me, it's just as fast as the previous farm. We'll be starting out either at the gate front side of Grace where you meet Melina, or the closer side of Grace at Warmaster's Shack if you've unlocked it at this point. From the gate front, turn to face the gate front ruins and go left along the rock. Cross through a field towards a beam between the next cliff and a ruined tower. Ride your horse into this beam and jump, and it'll send you flying up towards the area where you can farm trolls. Keep on following my path through this area to get to the Warmaster's Shack where you can respawn and level up when needed. I used to struggle a lot with trolls, but now I just try to stay right by their legs and swim away. If you can do enough damage to kill them quickly, their major attacks are super easy to dodge. This is made much easier with my katana, which does bleed damage and the high strength that I got from doing the next two super easy group jumps. The next farm is by far the easiest, but it doesn't produce runes like the previous two farms. You'll want to travel to the side of Grace at Murkwater Cove, just to the northeast of the gate front side of Grace. From there, just mount your horse and head up the hill to all the wolves. 
These wolves can be easily taken out while on horseback. Just lock onto a wolf on the outside and hit it as you're running by. Even at a low level, you should be able to kill them in one hit. If not, then two hits should do the trick. After killing the wolves, you can either rest at the side of Grace to reset, or head into the camp next to the wolves and kill the 3 to 4 humanoid enemies and the 2 wolves for an extra 4600 runes per run. This is slower and I usually skip this part, but the force is used. The next farm is a little out of the way, and it's only a little better than the wolf spot. Despite this, I still found myself addicted to killing a horde of rotting undead for a couple hours. You're going to want to head to the side of Grace at Rotview Balcony. From there, just turn away from the ledge and the giant bird thing, then follow the road to the right past the shack. You'll run into 16 undead and a tight bird. To farm them, equip a larger weapon that can strike multiple enemies at once, ride past or through them, and swing as you go. Ranged attacks will probably be more effective, but at this point I still haven't used anything except for melee attacks, so I'm not really sure. Just keep swinging until they all die, being careful to avoid their attacks and the rot that they can leave on the ground. Once you're done, just head back to the side of the race to reset and repeat as many times as you like. Here's the path to Rotview Balcony from the Third Church of America. 